Hello tubers and welcome back. This video is a dump pick restoration using recycled material. It is not a welding video. The purpose of this video is how you may be able to repair something using recycled material. The weld I recently purchased to replace my old one is defective. I was able to get one small weld out of it, but then the wire feed just stopped working in the beginning of this video. It would feed, then stop, and continue on and off. I tried anyway to get a weld for the sake of the video, but it was a no-go. So hold the comments about the weld and enjoy the video. Hi tubers and welcome back. Today's restoration project, I'm going to patch this seed spreader. Last spring, I acquired this at the local dump. You'll find these things tossed about quite often. It's a thin metal, and if you don't do any maintenance on them, this is the result you'll get. When I picked it up, it wasn't as bad as it is right now, and the spreader on the bottom spun freely. A lot of times you find that the spreader is all locked up, it's all corroded. If I had to guess, somebody probably used this to um, salt their driveway or their walkway. Now this is on my uh, project list in the back, and it was one of those things that I was always going to get to, I just never got there. The reason I have it out today, I was going to do a couple of projects around the house, and I want to clean up the back to see what I'm going to get rid of, and this was near the top, so I figured let me give it a shot. The way I'm going to patch this is that I'm going to cut the metal out where it's rotting, and I'm going to patch it with a piece of metal from a 55-gallon drum. This is flattened out because I used it for some roofing, but if it wasn't flattened, it would have the natural curve out of this cylinder. I don't think it'll be much trouble once I cut it to bend it around to get it to the curve. So I'm going to weld it on the top, down the side, and across the bottom. Another way this could be done is if you wanted to uh, drill through it and do some and put some Chevy rivets in. It's not holding water, it's just holding seed or whatever. I'm going to use it to spread some ash on my lawn, or wood ash this year from the wood I'm burning, and whatever else may come up. And it's a little extra welding practice for me. So I'm going to cut this out. I'm going to clean this up. Clean this up, cut it to size. Once I have it welded together, I'll be back with the final result. Hey guys, I'm back. And I wanted to show you a finished project. But unfortunately, it just didn't work out. I was using a Harbor Freight 90 Flux Core welder, which I'm not that good with. And in this case, I wasn't good with it at all. This metal's kind of thin. This metal's a little thicker. Normally, you get a lot of splatter. But I was getting more than usual. And what was happening, when I hit the trigger, wire would come out and stop, come out and stop. Then it just stopped altogether and the wire just wouldn't feed. For now, this is as far as this is going to go. If you have something similar to this and you're looking to do it, what I used to hold this down was this tied down strap to hold it against the barrel. This metal was easy enough to bend around the barrel. And if you want to do this without welding, if you don't have a welder, or if you weld like I do, you could just drill a few holes across the top, down the side, and use pop rivets or cherry rivets. A few rivets would hold this in. There's no pressure in here, so it's nothing that's going to bow out. And for the bottom, I think it would be okay. This would stay in place because you'll have the rivets holding it on top and on the side, and this metal is quite stiff. And this is that wire coming out, stopping coming out, stopping. It would come out, I would hold it to try to get a go. I would try to get a puddle. And it was just on and off, on and off. I don't know what caused it. Uh, I haven't had this problem with it before. This is something fairly new. But that weld is shot. Well guys, for now that's a wrap. If you found this video useful or you just enjoyed it, let me know by posting your comments down below. Be sure to give it a like and pass it along. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe. Your subscription today is more important than ever, and it's greatly appreciated. And as always, until next time, stay safe.